welcome back guys to html and css tutorial number 10 in this tutorial all that we're going to learn about is how to bullet and number items in html all right so i just create a header for my website so i just go ahead and click on save and then i run on my page and then i have a nice header how to bullet and number items in html as you can see clearly here now to be able to bullet a number items in HTML, you need to do ordered list and then on ordered list. All these ones are double tag. So to write ordered list, you create your less than sign, your greater than sign, less than sign against slash, and then a greater than sign. So your less than sign against slash, and then a greater than sign. And then in the first opening tag, all that you write is on ordered list, which is UL. UL stand for on other list, okay. And then behind the slash sign, you put in UL again. It also stands for on other list as an ending tag, right? Now in between this tag, you are going to write in what we call list item, and it's also a double tag. So you go ahead and make your double tag by clicking the less than sign. Then you bring in LI and the greater than sign, then the less than sign again slash and li this time for list item okay this is list item now this is where you put the name of the item that you want as you mean i want to make a list item of four items i'll copy this i'll go ahead and go and copy this and then paste it okay i'll paste it and then i go to the next line and paste it again so this is two i go to the next line and then i'll paste it again and then we have three now we're making something of four so i go to the next line again and then paste it again now that's what we have here so all that we're going to do in this is to put in the name of the items that we want to list let's say the first one will be spreadsheet i want the second one to be um tuna and now I want the third one to be bread or something. Let's make the third one to be bread. And now I want the fourth one to be, let's say, ice. So after making this, you go ahead and click on the save button. Then you come back to your browser and then you run it. So as you can see there, we've made a bullet of items. We've bulleted an item which is Richie, Tuna, Bread and Ice. Okay, now let's learn how to make a numbered list. Okay, let's number these items. To be able to number these items, all that you need is to create an ordered list. Okay, this is an ordered list and then we are going to make an ordered list. So you're going to open in a different page in the body. Then we type in our dead list, which is OL. Okay, so we close it and then open it tag again, and then we put in OL. All right. Now in this other list, we are going to still write this list items that we have, so we can go ahead and make a copy of our list items that we have. So we make click on paste, and we have our list item one. You click on paste list item two. List item three. And you go ahead and click on paste to get our list item four. Now all that you have to do is we put in the names. We have this one to be rich yet. We can put in rich it here. R I C H A R D and then we have this one to be tuna. So you're gonna put in tuna here also. So you're gonna put in tuna. Oh, sorry, tuna, and then you have what we call bread. Now you go to bread and ice. Ice. You go ahead and see what we have done, and then you go to our browser, which is the Google Chrome. Then we run it and see what. So in our other list, you can see that we have reached tuna, bread, and ice. 
So if you want to create a bullet items or a numbered items in HTML, this is how to do it. Okay, it's very simple. All that you need to know is that you have to know that you have an ordered list and then ordered list. The unordered list stands for the bulletin of items, okay? And then the ordered list stands for the numbering of items. The U stands for unordered and then the L is list. And then the O is ordered and then the L is list. The LI simply stands for list items, okay? It's very easy to understand. And always, when you create the unordered list, the list item is found in the unordered list. And then when you create an ordered list, the list item is found in the ordered list. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up if you like the video. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more videos from me and also click on the notification bell so that whenever I post in a new video you get a notification if you watch my video and you don't understand anything kindly scroll down to the comment section and then give me a comment okay when you give me a comment I'll clear things for you whenever I see your comment okay thank you for being with me up to this period I love you all and please make sure you practice okay because practice makes perfect when you don't practice you will not understand it but when you practice you get everything very clear thank you for being with me up to this time i love you all and god bless you bye